And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Jason Castro will get another crack, one for three thus far. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Jammed him a little here as this is hit softly to the left side. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. One left for Houston. It remains 1-0. Adrian Beltre will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Now a cut fastball, but that doesn't threaten the zone. It's even at one. And now a sharply hit ball toward the right side as this gets fouled past the coaching box. And this is going to be a foul ball. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch. Especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. And did he hold up in time? A look down and yes, he went around. It's strike three. Mitch Moreland will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. There's the cut fastball, but it's low, 1 and 0. Bases are empty, one man out. High with the cut fastball, and he's behind 2 and 0. Hit on a line here to the left side, but right to the shortstop VR. A laser that time, but it'll wind up with nothing to show for it. Two away now. Alex Rios will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Ball swung on and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. Fowler will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Rangers set down in order. They lead it one to nothing. Chris Carter will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Designated hitter, Chris Carter. And this is fouled back and out of play. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. And the eighth inning begins with a flyout. Quickly one away. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one. And there's the evidence of it right there. One nothing our score as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Jesus Guzman is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. You have to say they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Oh, he goes up the ladder on the fastball and pops this one up. And this is a major league pop-up all right, way up there. That's telling him how they've swung the bat. This has just been a punchless offense. So this pop-up is pretty indicative of their struggles. Matt Dominguez will stride in, grounded out his last time through. 
outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. When he's got that slider working the way he wants it, it can be such a weapon for him. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. Oh, that's what you call getting in tight with the fastball. On a hole now as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, and it's one and two now. Oh, that is that is as close to unhittable as it gets. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. One, two, three. And Chu will put this one away without incident. And the inning is over. One, two, three go the Astros. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Number 35 will be the new pitcher. Leonis Martin will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 oh now. And he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here 2 0. Oh. 3 and 0 oh now. And it goes without saying. But this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. And he gets this fastball over back to three and one now. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. Three one on the way. Fastball in there, three and two. Boy, if he can get him right here, coming back from three and oh. What a way to start the inning that would be. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 to punch him out. One away. Jurickson Profar will stand in. He singled and popped out in his first two at bats. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. One out, nobody on. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. The right-hander deals on one and two. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. On to first, and there are two down. J.P. Aaron Sibia will step in. A ground out victim as last time. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And he comes back with one that misses here and it's one and one to the Ranger backstop. Here's a swing and another chance out there is short. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We've played eight full. The Rangers lead it. So a save opportunity now here in the ninth and on to try to wrap this one up. There's a guy who's made it back from some serious arm troubles the past few years. The closer, Neftali Feliz.
J.D. Martinez will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the ninth as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far, so quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. Well, this will be taken in out there at short, and that's the first out of the inning. Yeah, that would have been nice to get that tying run on base, and this ball's definitely hit hard enough. It's just right out his band. Robbie Grossman will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Oh, and he had to be looking for something else to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. Now that's back up the middle, and it'll get on through for a base hit. Time run at first now with one gone. L.J. Holmes will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. L.J. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Your winner in this one would be Derek Holland if the current result holds true. And the 1-0 is sent out to straightaway center field. Martin will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Whoa, and as a pitcher, you hold your breath anytime a ball's hit in the air at this place. But luckily, he got under this ball a little bit too much. That runner has to retreat back to first base. Jose Altuve is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. In tight again, and it's to 2 0 now. And that fastball his definitely catches your attention, especially when it's on the inner half. And that's in there, base hit. Okay. Dexter Fowler will step in, one for four in the ball game. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Yeah, even with two on and two away, this is not a guy that's going to back down out there. He comes right after him with a foul. And he has come through big time as this ought to tie the ball game and maybe even get him a lead. And they're not going to get him at the plate as two runs have scored and they take a two-to-one lead. Jason Castro will dig in with a very important insurance run 90 feet away at third. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. And now this is all about minimizing damage out there on the mound. He's got to regroup, and he's got to do it quick, or this game will get away from him. And this will be fouled away. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Two outs here with a runner at third. Run came out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for the... Peter Moylan will come on now trying to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Shin Su Chu will get another crack, one for three thus far. Line hard to the left side. And nearly extra bases to start the inning, but this winds up fouled by inches. Wow. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And with Prince Fielder lurking, we'll see a left-hander get up in the bullpen. Swing, hard hit ball to second. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Darren Downs will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Elvis Andrews will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. And now a sacrifice attempt by Andrews as he's able to put this one down. And they're not going to have a play on him as the catcher just eats it. Not sure if there was some indecision on where to go with the run or what, but it looked like he just thought he had more time than he really did. And throw to first, too late. Chad Qualls into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Prince Fielder will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. He could make up for all of that with a base hit right here.
No lead to speak of at second. Here's the pitch. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. one down it's going to fall in there for extra bases and the Rangers are going to win this one walk off style well you go from agony to jubilation for these guys they thought that they might have blown it a half an inning ago but this is a pretty resilient bunch and they rally back to win it in the bottom half. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, not the longest outing he'll ever have. He only made it six full innings, but definitely brought in good stuff to the ballpark and he winds up helping his guys get out of here with victory. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons and our entire crew, I'm Matt Baskurgeon. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The Rangers come out on top, three to two. Good night for Arlington.